Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. You must be a hunter. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. This town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. <laughs> well, well. A hunter, is it? <laughs> ah, tonight, there's something different in the air. <laughs> Men leave as hunters, and return as beasts. Let there be no doubt. If it moves, you can be sure it's a beast. <laughs> and even if it doesn't, well, don't take any chances. <laughs> Oh, a hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights, still lingering about. <laughs> no matter, without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred, protege of Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. So, Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once, a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. While well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral, and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit.
You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn, then, eh? Well, where hunters end up when drunk with blood? You've seen them before. Aimless, wandering hunters slavering like beasts. This is what the poor fools have to look forward to. So, don't be brash. Turn back before it's too late. Unless you've something of an interest in nightmares. If anyone deserves to have this, it is you. But beware. Secrets are secrets for a reason. And some do not wish to be discovered. Especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. Aha. Uh -huh. Welcome to our dream. But we don't need anyone. Not anymore. The sacred right nears completion. The dream will be real. We will be granted eyes. If you don't like that, then pish posh. Catch us if you can in this dream of dreams. Oh, <laughs> majestic! A hunter is a hunter even in a dream. are held here to be sent on horrific hunts, their souls rotted by blood and madness. We've no need for this accursed abode. Let flame cleanse this house of horrors. Every last dream will burn out, and Flora will return from the moon. As for us, the time has come to honor our vows. Dear, oh dear, what was it? The hunt, the blood, or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. Hunters are needed no longer. You and I shall fight to the death, and she will consume the victor. The way we've always said we'd end it, you recall. Good hunter, dawn will soon break, this night and this dream will end.
plant makes us human, makes us more than human, makes us human no more. Our eyes are yet to open. Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter. <laughs> <laughs> 